Hey everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create your very own Twitch clip command that will actually take a clip of your Twitch stream and post it directly to Discord. So before we do this together, I just want to give you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to minimize my browser here and I'm going to open up my Discord. So this is my Discord and then I'm going to open up my Twitch chat. So in here, I'm just going to basically type exclamation mark clip Oh, wow, 360, no scope, and press enter. And as you can see here, we get a response in Twitch chat saying that a new clip was created in Discord. So let's move over to Discord here. Bonk, okay, so we just got posted. And as you can see here, a new Discord message was posted in this channel here. And it's a lot of things going on here, but basically it's because I've enabled all the options. So we will see a lot of stuff here. But as you can see, we have the Twitch uh, clip, the raw one here. This is the classic Twitch uh, clip, but we also have the raw MP4 version of this clip here. So. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own clip command that will create a clip of your stream and post it directly to your Discord server. Okay, so I've actually created a tool that will do this for us. So as usual, there is a link in the description beneath this video. And if you click on that link, you will come to my personal website here and you will find the tool. So basically what we're going to do here is go through this step by step and creating our very own clip command. So before we do anything, I just want to talk about the limitations of this clip command. And there are three things I just want to mention. So the first one is that Twitch has something called a global rate limit, meaning if a lot of people are creating clips simultaneously, it can unfortunately sometimes just break. So if that happens, just try again or try to create a clip manually. The second thing I want to mention is that I have deliberately added a one minute delay on from creating a clip to it gets posted to Discord. And I've added this delay so it will give Twitch enough time to create thumbnails and other assets so it will look decent in the Discord server. And thirdly, I just want to mention that this tool cannot rename clips. So I know it is technically possible to do that and other bots and services do that, but they do it by using an unofficial Twitch API. And since that's against the terms of service, I've decided not to do that. Okay, the first thing we need to do here is to actually give my web server the permission to actually create Twitch clips on your behalf. So in order to do that, we need to generate something called an authorization code. And this is basically just giving my web server permission to create clips. It will be your user account that will be creating a clip. So that means you will have full control over the clip and you can edit and you can publish the clip afterwards as well. So in order to do this, we basically just need to click on this button here, click here to grant permission. And as you can see, we get redirected to Twitch and it says here, special agent squeakers clip command wants to access your account. And the only thing this application wants to do is to create clips from broadcast or video. So this is the only permission that is required. So let's authorize this. And as you can see, we got redirected back to our website here, but this input is now filled out with the authorization code. Okay, so the next step we need to do here is to add a Discord webhook URL. So let me quickly show you how to do that if you haven't done that before. So let's open up our Discord here again, and then we're going to right click on our channel, then take edit channel, and then we're going to over to integrations, and then we're going to click on webhooks and we're going to create a new webhook here and we can put whatever name we want here. So let's put it Mr. Clipper. And then we need to copy the webhook URL here. Let's save, copy, minimize this and paste it in here again. So this is actually a secret. So you shouldn't show this to anyone. But in this case, I'm going to immediately delete the webhook after this video so it doesn't really matter. 
The next thing we need to do is to compose our Discord message. So this is what the message that will be sent to the Discord server. You can use whatever message you want here, but as you can see, I've already added a default message here. So there are certain parameters you can use, for example, the dollar user here, and that will be replaced by the user who actually created the clip. You can also add emotes such as sunglasses, so that will be replaced with the sunglasses in Discord. And you can also use custom emotes, and it's more complicated here, but it's basically this syntax. So let me just give you an example. So if I bring up my Discord server here again, as you can see, this is a custom emote, this fox right here. So if you don't know how to do that, look at the end of this video because I'm going to show you how exactly you will get this name here and this uh, long emote ID. But in this example, let's just keep it as it is. The next thing we need to do here is to add a Twitch chat message. So this is the message that is sent back to Twitch chat. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going back to Twitch chat here and it is basically this message here. So in this video, let's keep it as the default message. Okay, so the next thing here is if we want to append the Twitch link. So the Twitch link here is basically this, the normal Twitch link that goes to the clip. So you have two options, yes or no. And the same thing is if you want to append the raw MP4 video URL, and this is this link here, and it goes directly to the MP4 video. And this is handy if you want to download the clip on your computer later on and do some editing. And thirdly is that if you want to append the edit link. So by default, a clip will be created, but it won't be renamed and it won't be trimmed. So if you want to have the option to edit the clip later on, you can append the link here as well. And this is basically this link here. So in this video, let's say we are only interested in the raw MP4 video. So let's put no here and no here. And lastly, we need to enter a super secret password. So if you don't know what the super secret password is, basically just click on this link here and it will tell you the password. So I'm just going to type it in here. And then we are ready to create our clip command. Okay, so our clip command has now been created and the next steps here are basically just to use it. So what I've done here is I've written uh, some small guides on how to use this clip command in different platforms, such as Stream Elements, Nightbot, Stream Deck, Streamlabs, OBS. So in this video, we're just going to do this in Stream Elements here, but it is basically the same procedure in all of the platforms. And as you can see here, I've created screenshots so you can actually see how you can do it. So let's do this for Stream Elements. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to obviously go over to Stream Elements. So let's go over to the website and then we're going to go to our dashboard and then go over to the bot. So let's click on Chatbot and then chat commands and here we're going to do a custom command we're going to add a new command and we're going to name this command clip and in the response here we need to paste in the command from our website so let's head back here and then we're going to press this copy button bonk head over to stream elements and we're just going to paste it in here so this is basically it. So if you want to do more advanced settings, you can actually put this on specific user roles. So not everyone can do it, but maybe just uh, moderators or maybe you only yourself. And if you want, you can also put in cooldowns such as user cooldown and a global cooldown if you don't want it to get spammed. But in this example here, we are just going to go with the default settings. So let's activate this command. Okay, so once we've created our command here, all we need to do is to go over to our Twitch chat here again. So I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to open up Discord here again. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to delete my previous message I did here. Delete. Then open up Twitch chat here again. And then I'm going to just type in clip and press enter. As you see, we get the message here. And let's open up Discord. And as you can see, we just got the clip posted to our Discord uh, channel here. And since we only choose to use the MP4 video, we will only see the MP4 video in this post. But this is basically it.
But before I end this video, I just want to go back and show you how to create these custom emote links for Discord. So as you remembered here, I told you you could add your own custom emote here, but this is a bit complicated. So I'm just want to show you how to get this ID. So let's head over to Discord here again. So the first thing here you need to do is to enable developer mode. So you go over to the cogwheels here, user settings, and then go to advanced and then you will need to enable developer mode. Okay, let's close this down here again. And then let's pick a custom emote we want to add to the message. So let me open up the emote menu here. And as you can see, all of these are custom emotes, right? So let's say we want to use this one. And this one, as you can see, is from KS Cookie Jar, and it is called Happy. So let's just paste it in here and press Enter. Okay, so we need two things from this emote. The first one is the name. And if you remember, the name was happy, as you can see here. But we also need the long emote ID. So we can do that by basically right clicking on the emote and then press on copy ID. And if I just paste in the ID here, you will see it's a long number here. So this is basically the emote ID we need to have. So if you go back to our website here again, minimize this and open up this, you will see that in order to replace this one, we need to have the name happy. And then we need to add our emote ID. So this should show the custom happy emote in the Discord message. Okay, so that is the only thing I just want to mention here. So this was a quick video tutorial on how you can create your very own Twitch clip command that will create a clip of your Twitch stream and then post it to Discord. So as usual, if you thought that this video was useful and helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my gaming content I do on my YouTube, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.